I use it to improve my English. You have now in ChatGPT the possibility to have a conversation and a very fluid conversation. So you tell me, hey, Dad, can you create a unicorn flying in a castle with the tools you use? And I say, absolutely. I think this is the most disrupting technology in, in the history. That's exactly how I found out about you was on X. You were posting these amazing images as well as videos. And then you were like, this is all created using AI. And it's impressive at what you're doing. Yeah, I'm still amazed with the stuff I'm, I'm creating. I'm great. All the people behind the scenes, like the developers, the apps, and of course, the real artist behind all this stuff. As you know, all the, these models are trained with real images created by artists. And from there, it is just dreaming. As I said, like, okay, what do you want to do today? Just start prompting. I think my ability is to speak to the computer. You have to make some tricks to communicate better with the computer. And you can generate a very cool image in 10 seconds and a short clip in 30, 40 seconds. Then you have to edit it, create some sounds or whatever. You can create also the music and the effects and the dialogues. So capabilities are endless. And I know this is kind of naive, but your imagination is the limit. I think you have an amazing imagination and creative side to you. Just reading the prompts that you create and then like just seeing the imagery around that. I feel we're like at the stage where if you're not jumping on the AI bandwagon, you're going to get left a little bit behind. I, I was talking about ChatGPT and the consequences of using this kind of tools in regular jobs and how you can benefit from it. So people using this kind of tools are going to improve their skills exponentially. This is a big advantage and we have to encourage people to try these kind of tools because it's like being yourself with steroids. <laughs> you can do whatever you want, man. So, so, you're, not your... so you're not worried about AI really at all. You're actually very excited about it. I think a lot of jobs are going to disappear. But this is happening all the time in the history. For example, when the cars appeared, the people in horses were, oh, this is a devilish creation. No, man, this is going to improve your life. And the same happens with the calculator, with Photoshop, with whatever you want. The human is evolving every time. I think this is the most disrupting technology in, in the history. The example I, I wanted to bring up is I created in minutes using ChatGPT developer mode, a model capable to predict how long was going to be its conversation wow. with 95% of accuracy. You can say, oh, Luis, you're a genius, man. No, 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 no. I just asked ChatGPT the proper questions. And the, the thing is ChatGPT has the knowledge about almost all the world stuff. If you ask the proper things to the LLM, to ChatGPT, you have unlimited power, you know? So that's why I think a lot of jobs are going to disappear or change, not fear, but respect this technology and how we have to use it in our benefit. Don't think about Terminator is coming or whatever. I think we are very close to that, not a robot killing us. NVIDIA is working on a very awesome physical AI and this is coming soon. Don't fear it, just embrace it, use it, test it. And you, I assure all, all the people listening to the podcast, you are going to get in love with that because it's like being yourself very, very smart. <laughs> Even you can't put her on. Man, I used to create cool images with me, being myself with her. And so AI is cool and it's a very powerful tool. I hope everyone used that. I think people that are using it now and are understanding this sort of capability of AI, they are going to almost create a gap ahead of the people that are not using it. I recommend people that are not in the tech business to take a look into it. It's very easy to use because you have only to write. 
to express yourself, to share your idea in a natural language. From there, you can learn, okay, let's see how we prompt better using specific tokens that fits better with the AI. I really recommend people to get used to these technologies because they are going to be the future. All of these companies evolving so fast too with new devices and powerful devices. So things are changing exponentially fast. So get used to these tools. You have now in ChatGPT the possibility to have a conversation with that, a very fluid conversation. I use it to improve my English. Wow. I talk to ChatGPT. I, I just open the tool, push the, the button, and she has her voice, and, and she tells me, hey, Luis, how can I help you today? And I tell her, okay, I want to improve my English, so please create a game we can play so that I can improve my English. If I make a mistake, you stop, you tell me stop, Luis, the proper word or whatever is this one. And I really improved my English doing that. And just with my mobile phone and talking. As I said before, your imagination is the limit. I use it to play with my uh, daughter in, when we are in the car. I'm driving a long trip. I, I connect to the Android thing. I start playing with her. Again, like it's called Beo Beo, which is I see, I see. And you have to say the letter and you have to guess which. So she plays with ChatGPT when no I'm ways. driving. In, in, yeah. And she really enjoys. We play together, right? Not, yes. not, not I'm not that kind of father. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we play together because I really want her not to be immersed in this technology. No, no, absolutely not. She's very, very young. And I want her to start testing this stuff whenever she wants, but with control, of course. But it's like, get used to this technology. And she really is. Sometimes he tell me, hey, dad, can't you create a unicorn flying in a castle or whatever with the tools you use? And I say, absolutely, absolutely. I, I, I also made a video from a story she wrote last year. She loves to, to draw and to create histories. And, and we created a, a handcrafted book, the, the girl that lose her unicorn. So we wrote the history and so on. I decided to take a photo of each page and use AI to change the image to create a quite more realistic one. So I take a photo, upload it to the AI tool, in this case is Remix, and you type a prompt like, okay, make this guy like cyberpunk with a whatever background. And from there, you have your improved image from scratch, from a drawing. So I did that with the book we created. And from there, I animated it. And I created also a narrator voice that was telling the, the story as the video was playing and in two languages in Spanish and in English for sharing with my community. And she really enjoyed that because yeah. he told me that this is what I was thinking about. So this is how my way to, to get her in, in this world, but of course not touching any of these tools or, or these devices. But I think this is going to benefit her in the future because everything is going to be AI handled. Yeah. I think it's so cool that you're using it to create stuff like that with your daughter, not just for your daughter, but with her actually teaching her the capability 